Welcome back, guys. Jeff Lepard, jefflepard.com. Welcome, everybody, in the chat. I see you guys coming in here early. AC469, what's up, brother? Tyler Adventure, what's up? Death Row, how you doing, man? How are you doing today, guys? I'm here with uh, Kevin K. We're going to be doing an epoxy job. I'm already set up. Uh, I Yesterday, I couldn't film because I was grinding the floor. There was way too much dust, uh, so I just uh, didn't want to film. So today we're going to be filling in the divots, the holes. There's a lot of uh, a lot of damage to this floor, so we're going to try to get it to about 80-90% uh, um, before the first coat of epoxy tomorrow. And um, so I've I've just got the uh, component uh, A, B, and C. So we're just going to mix component A with component B and uh, C to thicken up the viscosity. There's uh, Kevin there. He's getting ready to be uh, Mr. Uh, cameraman today. So I'll, uh, I'll pass it to Kev Kevin. I've got my other phone on me. I'll be able to check once in a while here. And uh, Kevin will read the uh, comments to me or anything that uh, needs to get said. Uh, yeah, guys, welcome on this uh, lovely uh, uh, Tuesday afternoon. It's 30-something uh, degrees. <laughs> haven't even started working, and we're already sweating. So um, I'm going to get started. I imagine this whole thing should maybe take me about an hour and a half to two hours. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I have to trowel everything by hand. To fill it, there's no real quick way of doing this. It's uh, it's pretty tedious work, but hey, someone's got to do it, right? So better him than me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, here we go. Mix this bad boy in. How's the weather, uh, Tide Venture in uh, in Quebec today, buddy? Must be uh, warm like here. Thailand Adventure, Jeff said you might want to send us a message outside. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. I'll, uh, we can call them online later. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> totally Tommy, how you doing, brother? Oh, you're off the bed now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries, brother. I appreciate uh, stopping by there anyway, buddy. Will it be awesome if the thing breaks and the phone goes right in the epoxy? <laughs> yeah. That's, it's done. Oh, right? yeah. The phone will be done. There's no, no getting it off. No. 20 Celsius there. That's it. That's pretty cool, actually. Like, yeah, we got like, we've had warm, warm, warm weather here. Okay, now I'm going to start thickening it up. I'm going to put a, an entire bag in. This thickens up the viscosity of the uh garbage. Twenty Celsius where a Thai adventure is that's, would be uh, uh, that's perfect work of mine. Yeah, it is. I love that's that. I'm, I'm sweating, man. Yeah. I'm dying. I don't know for a twenty seven or thirty or what it is. Yeah. This is almost like a foamy uh, spongy stuff. It's really weird, this kind of stuff. It thickens up the uh, epoxy because I want it a little bit uh, a little bit more thicker. <sighs> Just for uh, doing the patchwork. I'll probably have to put a little more in. I got two bags. Has to be uh, the most important thing about epoxy. You have to have it mixed correctly, otherwise the epoxy will fail. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Uh, oh, changes the no changes the uh, changes the name. Okay. Yeah, changes the name. That was a tough one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's okay. Yeah. I think I want it, uh... Tommy, thanks for reminding everybody to thumbs up. When we're on a phone, you got to turn the chat off for a second to do it. It only takes a second. You don't lose your place. But we all have to be reminded from time to time. But thanks for that. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Yeah, all the thumbs up help, of course. Good stream last night, buddy. Uh, your your uh, first time using uh, stream uh, yard. This should be good. I think I'm going to work with this. We uh, 
So we've not seen it yet. This should do it. Hopefully I didn't make it too thick. <laughs> if so, that's too too bad for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's about perfect. Hopefully I have enough epoxy to last today. R7, great to see you. What's up, brother? Up until today, I've never actually seen this um, part of the patching epoxy. So I've always oh, seen it only yeah. clear. But Jeff, Jeff was pointing out that um, it's better for this stuff to be colored. So let me have a look over here and I'll show you what like he started with is here. So if you can imagine when it's clear, you can't get a good look at all these holes in the concrete and stuff like that. He's got to fill that. So this part of the job is terrible because um, it requires literally squeegeeing by hands um, and you're on your hands and knees for the whole garage. So this this is not big. This is 400 square feet-ish. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Jeff's going to enjoy that. Oh, what's up, Tyler? Mick, how you doing, brother? Tyler and Mick, yeah, I know I sent you a message, but I hope you can come by on the uh, weekend. Because uh, we can really pump up, uh, especially when you're brand new, we can pump up uh, the subs. No reason why you can't get 50 or 60 in a few days. And they're all real. All people who will come back and watch and all that stuff. So oh, that's... Yeah, it's nice and, nice and thick, really. Yeah. Wow. Let's try to get it off my glove. See how tasty this stuff is. <laughs> Yeah. Gotta watch I don't leave clumps on the ground like I'm doing, but because uh, if you do, that's what happens. It stays. It'll stay like that. You can't get it off. Yeah. It'll grind okay. again or something. Yeah, and we don't want to do that because that's a step behind, right? All right. And once you mix this epoxy, you're on a time. You don't have much time to work with this stuff. Uh, this stuff, I probably get about 20 minutes of good epoxy, like. And you got another 10 minutes maybe after that. After that, you're, uh, you might be screwed. Uh, too bad I can't keep it going. Keep it locked. That's okay. You can read all. I'll catch up. All right. Stormer, what's up, brother? Uh, what sort of uh, work time do you get? Oh, yeah. You get to, yeah. Okay, I just answered that. Yeah. All right. So, uh, this drill can go over here, and we're going to start laying it down. That's the other thing, you gotta yeah. be so fast. Yeah. This is not the quick set stuff, but yeah. even this requires fast action. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, I wanna get, fill in some of these gaps um, as well. You know what I forgot? The, um, if I had a stick in here or not. Oh, I do. Just in case I need a stir stick in here to grab the, uh, I'm just gonna fill in some of the divots and I'm gonna be going over the squeegee. Uh, with it after, right? So, yeah, lots of fun, guys. Lots, lots of fun. <laughs> I went to, uh, I remember seeing a floor at some point when I was a little bit younger and uh, somebody saying to me, hey, be careful with the floor. That's like $3,000 or $4,000, or whatever they said. I was like, well, it looks just like paint to me, so what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't yeah, yeah. until I met Jeff and started doing this stuff that he was like, oh, no. Epoxy is like a four-day job minimum. Yeah. Two guys, and depending on the size of the place. What's yeah. the biggest that we've done together? Um, I've done a few. I've done probably that, a 3,000 square foot. I've done a, a small like a small kind of warehouse kind of thing. Oh, actually, uh, no, we did more than that. We did one We together. did four or 5,000 square feet, right? Yeah. And you got to do that like every single day. You so, can, and once you start, you can only take a very quick break uh, in between the um, mixes of buckets. Otherwise, you, you, you can't really take a break. But you can't, depending, I mean, you could do it with a bigger crew, right? But oh, yeah, 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 you, yeah. you need consistency. So whoever, let's say, squeegeeing on the last coat, which you guys will see tomorrow or whatever, right? Or one of yeah. these coats where we're squeegee. It's got to be consistent. Yeah. So... 
if you're doing two or three guy crew, I mean, Jeff and I have done it ourselves four or 5,000 square feet, but that's it. You, you're working like whether it's a 12 or 16 hour day or whatever it is, yeah. there's no choice because yeah. you have to get it done. Otherwise yeah. you're taking uh, there's just no other way. Yeah. You, what, yeah. Like one coat takes how long it takes and that's it. Yeah. And just imagine, I gotta, I'm already sweating. I gotta do this whole entire floor like this. Normally, we'd have to do that if uh, <laughs> if uh, there wasn't so much damage to the floor. But there's so much damage to the floor. This is what we gotta do, man. <laughs> this uh, this doesn't get paint. This is in place of paint. Yeah. So you could paint, but the paint will come off in a paint year, comes right? Off. This never comes off. This Epox only wears down. Epoxy's there, literally. Um, uh, you know, for for years. What's the what life do you think you can get? Out of what we usually do, two coats of color and a color of uh, clear. So uh, I did. I did. Here's a good example. I did bonds about seven, eight years ago, and it's still there. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's still there. If the you, clear coat might be worn down a bit, but it's still there. Right? That's the that's the difference. But it looks gorgeous. Like it, yeah. you know, and it's Wait, so easy. See it. yeah. Easy to clean after that um you know you can spill oil on it from the cars and yeah. have all kinds of stuff it just comes right off that's the key to uh having an epoxy floor it's always brand new i didn't know this stuff many years ago but now you know jeff and i've been working together for this is year five uh, in a row yeah. and i've done enough epoxy with him to have a little bit of a clue about what he's doing but he's been at this for a long long time Getting the corners really bad. Ooh, I'm already sweating. You gonna be able to clean that squeegee too? Yeah, I just I gotta make sure I get to keep it keep it wiped uh, before the next coat. Otherwise, I uh, I mess my whole uh, my whole self up. You gotta be really careful with epoxy. It just doesn't come off of anything. Like it's virtually impossible to remove. Does even gas get it off? No. Oh. No, there's a solvent obviously for it, but whatever it is. Uh, it, uh, you wouldn't want that on your skin, maybe? Yeah, exactly. 30 people in the chat, man. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. About, uh, five, oh, wow, well, well. It's in the pocket for a second. I'll check. I'll take a break through each coat. I just gotta, I guess I gotta move the room faster and get this, uh, get this on the floor. All right. <clears throat> I'm just kind of doing it all the way around the room first. And then I'm going to, uh, and then I'm going to start filling in the, uh, filling in the uh, main spots, main area. Look at the, you see me sweating already? Yeah. Oh. Not to mention the Ooh. whole floor has to be done by hand. Pretty much, yeah, by hand, yeah. If, if this floor didn't have that many repairs, then we would be just fixing minor repairs and then on to the first coat. But it's a whole, whole process just to... Uh, just to um, do the repairs. We've done other epoxy videos on do-it-all sealing. Like you can have a clear and concise look at it, right? But yeah. you can imagine like what this looks like compared to a perfectly, or almost perfectly smooth floor afterwards. And then you get like these cracks as well. And yeah. that's all gonna be very close to disappearing. Yeah. Man, this floor is bad. This is uh, one of the, one of the worst floors we've had to do in a while. But it's a good uh, good example of one and a reason why somebody might want to do it too. Yeah. My back's gonna feel good after today, boys. The squeegee kind of smooths it out. So AC469, this is just to fill the holes. He's got to squeegee the entire floor by hand yeah. with this stuff. Roll but when or squeegee, it's, yeah, yeah. When it's done, yeah. it will the whole floor will look like that. Which is like with cool. some custom flakes. We're doing some custom flakes on this floor too, guys. And the flakes um, hide some of the imperfections, but the next three coats will be rolled. Yeah, squeegee roll or just roll? Well, we haven't decided until we uh, get to it tomorrow, but um, I'm going to be prepared to do either or. Yeah, different different things you can do. You can either like roll it on, almost like paint. 
Um, or depending on the floor, you can squeegee it and back roll it. Yeah, I think, did we do video of the, we did a video of the big floor that we did that I was thinking of, the oh. warehouse with those ramps and maybe everything. Maybe we did, yeah. Maybe we I did. think we did do a video of that with the back rolling and everything. We might have, yeah. Either way, and we did that other big garage up in uh, Oxbridge or wherever that was, remember? Yeah. The five car garage or whatever? Yep. With the custom flakes and everything going up the wall and all this? Yeah. Hey guys, sorry about that. Still there? Yeah, oh, still okay. there. The phone overheated. <laughs> we lose the chat too. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's a lot. Of it's issues. boiling hot. It's so hot. I took the case off the phone. So uh, hang on, let me put the uh, thing back on. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, one minute in the sun, and that's all it takes to to this phone. One sec, guys. Oh, yeah, lovely. Hey guys, yeah. Sorry, man. It is hot day today. Okay. No, yeah, Kevin's right, just gonna, just gonna stay, stay out of the, on the uh, side. Yeah. yeah, stay out of the uh, sun, and we're good. All right, I'll uh, put that in after. All right, watch these uh, little things on the floor. Otherwise, it. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, people. along the end uh, once we go into the uh, coat so go right where the garage line is that crack there will need a little bit eh uh, yeah I gotta go over it again too as well where right where you're going oh yeah I'm stopping right here though right here Doing oh, did we put the uh, thing on? Yeah. I'm thinking of it. Uh, uh, hang on. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we still got a fair bit in here. Luckily, we, uh, we got this dream back. Yeah. An ice pack, no. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I imagine I'm thinking you're kidding. Of that. I but, know. but you know what they have now? Okay, so I didn't even know these things existed. I, ne I just never bothered thinking of it, right? But I get these advertisements the other day on some uh, website that says these air conditioners now, like 70 bucks Canadian or something like that. I don't know if it's true. But they're, they're tiny. They're Dude. only like... I just got a boxy on my case. Oh, that's wicked. <laughs> there, look at that. Yeah, look at that. A foot by a foot, these air conditioners, and they apparently work like humidifiers too. 
but they're so small. Now I'm assuming it's got to work. I don't imagine it could fill a room or anything like that. But if you had to put it like somewhere just to put a device in front of it, I'm thinking about doing it for my computer. When I live stream, especially for a while in the summer, there's nothing I could do. Air conditioner, fan, it's not enough. The, the computer burns. But we could get one of these little tiny air conditioner things and then have it there so that when the phones start to uh, overheat, at least we can save them. Crazy. All right. Oh, um, look, okay, you're reading now. Just reading here, yeah. Rob Ford, what's up, brother? Dump the Pixel 4. Yeah, I know. Get an iPhone. I know. I know you've been saying that. <laughs> Jay Cuts, how you doing, brother? Huh. Yeah, they actually, they got a nice little... Uh, this whole area place. takes care of their stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice neighborhood. Let's see if I can... Uh... Oh, keep going with this. I should get some yield out of this. It seems to be all right. Not even gonna bother putting the gloves on right now. I gotta, I gotta move with this. I'll have to go over this uh, again. Some of this. Uh, I'm trying to give it a little bit of a chance to dry by the door. commentary <laughs> who wants to be here and help me guys Is that... <laughs> nobody wants to be here and help he asked me to help earlier i told him i'll quit if he does so <laughs> yeah. it's like jeff's working and i'm yeah working even harder yeah get our work epoxy into the holes you see what i mean i might i might actually need to squeegee the first coat tomorrow just to fill in the remainders because I'm yeah. not getting all the holes, right? Well, there's tons here, yeah. I, I, I very much may have to do that, I think. going to use more. We could have bought the brought the bobcat for this job, eh? <laughs> think so? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we could. And uh, put a squeegee on the bobcat, right? <laughs> you know, it's funny because in the first year that I worked with Jeff, so... I worked with him one year, like eight years ago, and I hated it. And I said, I'm never coming back. This sucks. Everything sucks. I'm not doing it. But a few years ago, I needed work, actually. And I said, what should I do? Well, I'll go with Jeff, because at least I know what I'm getting into. And I hate manual labor, right? But um, the first season that we worked together in a row, because we're on year five now, or something like that, five or six, the first year, I wouldn't go in the Bobcat. I was nope. You could do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to be in there. I don't uh, get it. And I, you know, now, of course, I love it. Yeah. All right. This is actually, uh, squeegee is actually a better, better finish um, with the uh, how than I normally do it. Well, this you is know, actually a nice little. Uh, uh, you know, the truth of the matter is uh, AC469. So. The only reason that I don't think about getting a truck and going doing the same things Jeff's done now that he's taught me how to do it is because I don't actually like it. I don't want to do it forever. So I'm trying to do other stuff so that like I'm weaning my myself off of this work. Last year I worked five days a week. This year I worked three. Maybe next year I can work two and eventually not have to do the manual labor anymore because my, uh, you know, all my other stuff will, will supplement. But you could um just by watching videos jeff had a guy by uh, uh he found out by a sealer unit and said oh i seal driveways now because yeah. of watching your videos and i didn't get any commission for that and the guy didn't even, <laughs> you know the the um the guy uh, at, that sells the sealer unit didn't even say thanks or anything didn't even know didn't even care i told him and he's like oh hello. oh what do you know yeah. That's robert nice. robert Mack, good to see you yeah it's um <laughs> <laughs> this is Jesse A. It's it's a magical thing I've got going on here. But I I um you know anybody could like you know the videos um are what they are. But the work is not I don't want to say it's not hard, 
but it's not that complicated. Yeah. Most of the stuff, like to, to do, um, especially the asphalt patches that we do and driveway sealing. I mean, there's a million people who do driveway sealing, right? That's an undercutting business, but um, ah. you could build it up. But the asphalt stuff, you get a hot box. You don't even need it. You could do it with a with a trailer like he's got, right? Yeah. And you just learn the measurements. It's just a formula. Jeff knows how to do it. Yeah. And then you go out and you just do exactly what we do. You get a saw, you get a rake, you get a shovel, and you get them, the the bigger toys as you go along. Yeah. And you know, like any other bit of work, Ooh. your first two may not be like the most perfect things you've ever seen but you're probably going to spend five times as long as you need to doing them to try to make them good. And after that, you could do it. Yeah. So the, not everything that we do could I also do myself. But if needed be, if for God, God forbid Jeff couldn't work for six months or something, I could go take the truck and do the work. Yeah. Because uh, now we've done it all together. We've already been, Jeff was explaining this morning, he goes, the next time we go out and do asphalt, I got to use a rake because nobody. Oh, yeah, nobody, the, the people no. in the chat want to see uh, Kevin they, if they, he can they rake. They want to see if I can, uh, if I could do more than hold a phone. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Ooh, we uh, halfway through this? I don't know, we're getting some yield out of it. I'm, I'm, I'm quite surprised. Gene I, fever, yes. And, and this squeegee here, yes. The whole floor has to be done by hand. But yeah, if you look at the floor, it's pretty bad. It's the only way to make sure that you're getting everything. Standing squeegeeing or rolling is never going to get that as good as he needs it. Yeah. But you can see, like, let me try to get around where he is here. You can see this area is not as bad. There's still divots here and everything. But when he puts the epoxy, you can see how much smoother it's getting. Yeah. Already. So, Ugh. the rest of it can be done uh, standing with rollers. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Or squeegees and special shoes and this and that. You'll see all that stuff. Oh, yeah. And the fun thing is when, you, when you're using the shoes, sometimes you're like, oh. it's like ice. You'll fall over. Sam Watt Rogers is asking about college. What did you study in college? I took business in college. Becky Dory TV, thank you, uh, thank you again for yesterday. Um, I really appreciate you coming by and, and everything you were doing. Chris. Oh, Chris is in there. What's up, brother? Oh, let me take a quick break here. Michael, thanks for coming in. Man, I'm sweating here. Hey, what's up, Michael? How you doing, brother? Chris, how you doing, brother? AC469, it's, it's as easy as putting ads on Kijiji. Um, you never wish bad on people, of course, but you can definitely, you can build up a business um, while helping people when disaster strikes as well. Like, so for instance, when we, um, like Jeff's got enough work, he's been doing this 15 years, he'll, he'll be booked to December. Probably about 18 years or something. Yeah. Even, even longer, yeah. So yeah. he's got enough work, he's never gonna have to look for work, right? But um, you can just put ads out. So. We had a bad windstorm and a lot of people started losing uh, shingles off their houses yeah, and yeah. fences were falling down yeah, everywhere. So we took a week off of what we were usually doing. And it's not like it was really like any more money probably than, than regular commercial work. But we went around and we're just helping people with their fences. Yeah. You know, it's all work, right? So what's the difference? But at least we know we're going to try to be helpful and, uh, and Jeff will do a decent job with it or whatever. Yeah. We probably made videos of those too. Uh, I remember, don't know. remember the city. I can't remember. Remember or the, maybe we didn't at that time. Remember the city guy, the city with the gate. The city guy with the gate. Oh yeah, uh, I don't think we made a video. No, there. I can't I remember. Think we did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we did. Yeah. Ugh. as far as the foxy, but uh, again, so you'll know when uh, you're running out of time when it when it starts firming up. That's the time when uh, you're like, uh oh. <laughs> Jess is asking. I'm assuming that um, that um, is, there, is there such thing as a self leveling? Yeah, not epoxy? epoxy though. 
Not epoxy. You uh, self leveling floor, yes. Uh, epoxy, well, concrete, yeah, but yeah. You, um, I mean, uh, it somewhat settles. Not this stuff. This stuff's pretty thick, but uh, yeah, it 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 does that a little bit. But epoxy's actually fairly thin. But uh, yeah, not really. Uh, not really self uh, leveling, but it does to a certain degree, but. Yeah, you won't even recognize the floor when it's done. Oh, yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, quite the improvement, quite the improvement. All right, cool. All right. All right. Would you stop drinking root beer? Yeah, I'm not drinking root beer. That's garbage. Stop I've never drinking that, brother. It's not helping me. <laughs> oh, man. I am soaked. It's a... Uh, it would be like 30 degrees or something, yeah? Yeah, it's like, and, and humid. Yeah. The worst part is when you get rocks in the, uh... You have to go up under the railings there? Oh. oh, thank oh, you no, very okay. much. Thank oh, you. well, yeah, actually, in well, that you got case, it already, yes, I will. Yeah. Yes, I will. Thank you thank so you. much. Oh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not going to say no. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's We're filming the thank work, you. too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Yeah. That's delicious. Thank you so much. You can start to, um, yeah. part of me, you can start to see the difference already, right? Mm -hmm. From the holes when the epoxy goes on, it starts to disappear, oh, right? Oh, so good. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> mm. It's good. Iced coffee. I don't think I've ever had this. It's really good. Mm. That's refreshing, though. <laughs> we were just talking about how hot it is. Because yeah. it's very hot here now, this time. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Mm. Maybe you got 10 more minutes with that, maybe? No. 10, 15 Are you going to get through the bucket? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh yeah, I don't know if I've had it. This is better than the uh, Tim Hortons. <laughs> I, I, I stay away from you know, sugars and those things. Yeah, no doubt. Thanks so much. That's so good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> you work much better now. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Thank no, you. I'll bring this to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Yeah. That's nice. That is actually. Ooh. Oh, okay, I've never had it. Like a homemade one. That's really good. Oh, yeah, rocks. Ugh. 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 Like the floor will never be 100%, but, uh, It'll be a, a huge difference. That's true about the caffeine, Eagle. That's why I. Uh, that's why I can't stop with that stuff. I. Um, I shouldn't be drinking the one with sugar. I usually have like probably five or six diet pops a day, but uh, once in a while I get into something with sugar. When the, uh, I don't know if it's taste the aspartame or whatever, just drives me bananas. One day I'll get off it. We'll see. Yeah, it's like thirty degrees, Stormer. Feels like it. Still got to go Look at that imperfections. I really think I got to roll this on or uh, squeeze the squeeze the impact roll. I don't know. Sam Rogers, as a matter of fact, if I understand correctly, Toronto is the most multicultural city in the world. Yeah. So um, even when you think about places like LA and New York and stuff like that, Toronto uh, is something else. Ah. Man, I feel. Oh. Can't can't wait till they. Uh... Look at Brayton Billy. Oh gosh. With them, yeah. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a good story. Yeah. Some of the yeah holes, uh, condo garage. They didn't even leave the. Oh, toxic smell all the way to the eighth floor. Fire department had to come in the middle of the night. Can oh you my imagine? god. Oh, they were using um oh. yeah. 
They're using a uh, solvent-based epoxy. That stuff's so... Uh, I worked with that stuff in Ottawa. I did a big, big, big job when I was working for another comp company. And, um, yeah, that stuff was crazy. That people, the, the guys in the crew were throwing up. It's so toxic. It went on my clothes, and I had, like, rashes on my skin and legs. This epoxy is the best, and I'll tell you why. It's in viral epoxy. There's no smell. You don't need a mask. You can use it in restaurants, food places. And it comes with the Canadian uh, food inspection uh, papers. You can use it anywhere and everywhere. And uh, yeah, it's 100% solids, 100% environmentally friendly. You won't pass out. You can do a whole floor. There's a slight odor to it, but it's, there's nothing toxic about it at all. Love it. Absolutely love the stuff. All right. As far as being out of the sun, yeah, actually we have to stay, well, if we're going to stream, we have to keep the phone out of the sun, but we are lucky to be in a garage here. So we can, we'll complain about the heat, like, yeah, it's hot and this and that, but the truth is it feels good to be outdoors. That was a long winter, right? We all know what the state of the world and this and that. Even when we're going to be hot like this, I describe to people all the time, once you, once you are so hot that you're sweating, yeah, now it doesn't, doesn't matter matter anymore. Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Because in the summer, we can get on like the hottest days and still be working with 400 or 600 degree yeah. asphalt, whatever yeah. it is, and it doesn't matter anymore. You're yeah. just sweating buckets. So yeah. what's the difference? Yeah. So true. And for somebody who I said earlier in the stream, I, I, you know, I'm not a manual labor kind of guy. It actually does. I know right now I'm not doing anything. I'm standing here holding the phone. But it does feel good to get out and do some work once in a while, almost like, you know, for otherwise a lack of exercise. I sit in front of a computer for, you know, 12 hours a day or something like that, it seems. So to be out and doing something different, even when we have to, some of the streams you've seen me do a little bit where we're shoveling and this and that, and you'll see a lot more this summer. But it does feel good to get out and actually do something. Yeah. Ugh. No, you're not going to get the, the, so they're doing custom flakes. Like we're going to be doing custom flakes, epoxy flakes, charcoal flakes on the floor. So that is good because it covers the imperfection. Uh, what's this? Oh, never mind. It's okay. So, uh. Bright and Billy, I drink that stuff all the time. Uh, um, yeah, so it, uh. Vancouver. You get the what? floor looking. Oh, um, we're, uh. Sam's asking, why is there a door a meter from the ground with no steps? Oh, they removed the steps so we can do the epoxy easier. Oh, so uh, I, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah. yeah. I guess they got that somewhere and they'll put it back. Yeah, they're going to build a new one. Oh, yeah. build. Yeah. Huh. Build a new one. All right, now we're going to fill in the floor. What do you see? I'm going to try to speed it up with the, uh, just going to go back and forth a little bit. We can, uh, well, the cuts take longer, right? Like oh, they're yeah. Being more yeah, precise totally. Than the rest of the kits are going to be, it's just like, I'm going to be squeezing it on. So the rest of it's going to go a, little, a lot faster now. And I can feel the viscosity changing in the epoxy, which means... Uh, running, it's going to run out of time soon. That coffee was a uh, treat. Man. It that was good, yeah, yeah. A yeah, nice, yeah. Uh, nice treat for a change here. Times, yeah. oh. I've been at it so long here, I need a break. <laughs> yeah. All right, where's the, uh, where's the uh, thing? Oh, you guys are going to take a break. I'm almost done this bucket. And I'll, take a, I'll take a 10 minute break too before I mix the next batch. Oh yeah, that's 
squeegee's not going to move it very much. You have to move it with the. Uh, oh, the yeah, spatula. Just move it with this, and then. Uh, yeah, that's the only way to do it now. Move it with that, and then uh, go over with the squeegee after. We're trying to not waste the plastic, but it's starting to stiffen up. <clears throat> How many, uh, how many kits are we going to go through? I have four. I'm either going to use three or four. Of this? Yeah. And then what about the other coats? The other coats are uh, uh, a four liter and a two liter kit. That's it, eh? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> well, maybe more if we're squeegeeing it. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to find out. Yeah, those knee pads, um, Jeff had, uh, he used to have these other, you know, ones that are just a little bit older or whatever. And it doesn't matter the brand name DeWalt and all this, right? But they're Home Depot, this and that. Ugh. But I, uh, I used to be more Ugh. on having to do the work on the knees than him. And I said, you got to have uh, good Ugh. stuff for that because we're not 20 years old anymore. Not that Ugh. that really makes a difference, but you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Every year it gets a little bit harder to uh, be on uh, doing this kind of work for long periods of time. So the equipment helps, but those knee pads, what do they cost? Like 50 bucks or more? Oh, yeah, something like that, yeah. 50 bucks or 60 or something like that, Canadian. 40, uh, what is that, 45, yeah. 35 to 50 American, I guess, or something like that. But uh, boy, are they ever comfortable. Ooh cushioned and easy to whip on and off look at the yeah. straps on the sides of these things you take them on and off in a second and all that uh, oh, this sucks i'm gonna be sore after today uh, see it's not it's not perfect this why i I'm, I'm already telling you now tomorrow we're gonna have to we're gonna have to squeegee the whole floor yeah coat because this is there's still divots I can't, I can't, you can't get it perfect You, right you might have to squeeze you both coats, no? Yeah, yeah. And I might need more epoxy, too. I might need more epoxy. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, it's about just trying to... Beagle says you need a, a bigger trowel. I have another, yeah, I have other trowels. I didn't expect the epoxy to uh, hard enough. I was just going to squeeze you. Do you have another point. one in there? You want me to go get it or no? No, it's, it's, it's not flat. I'd rather no. not use it, yeah. You got, got a flat. You got a brand new one for today. Yeah, this one's at least flat. Oh, travel on a pole? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know if you get the same control out but of that though. I'm putting so much pressure on this because it's so uh it's like glue. Uh, uh, I have I have to hang on to the trowel because it's it's thickening up. I uh, I'm running out of time. Oh. It's already getting uh Beagle says you could have skim skim coated with a level or cement. Oh, yeah, no, uh, this stuff's not supposed to go on new cement. You have to wait like 28 days before you put epoxy on new, new cement. So that's why we only stick to using epoxy patches because then you, can't, you can never get the job finished. And the client's not going to keep the, uh, the floor empty for that long. Ra but yeah. Robert Mack, I'm already looking forward to it. That's why I'm thinking of this stuff now. I told somebody, um, you know, we talk, I, the next vehicle that I'm going to get. I have a truck, which I'm going to keep forever, right? Or as long as it lasts. But at some point in the next couple of years, I'm going to buy a really small car just so that I can drive, you know, zip back and forth to Toronto by myself and this and that. Probably a Honda Civic or a Toyota Corolla or something like that, right? But I haven't driven stick now in 10 years because, you know, my truck obviously is not stick and I miss it. So I think about getting a stick and my friend said, well, wait a second, <laughs> you're going to be 50 when you buy a, a stick, is that really what you want? I, said, I don't know. I guess we'll see in a few years when it's uh, when it's time. <laughs> but you got to think about that stuff, right? Oh yeah. Running out of time. Running out of time. Running out of time. Ugh. Oh yeah. At least we're not wasting a boxing. I, we're almost at the end of the line right now. Uh, you got a couple of um, a couple of questions here. Oh, okay. Yeah, Toyota okay. 4Runner, how do you like that, Robert Mack? I have an F-150, and I'll tell you what a disaster 
Now, I don't know the difference between one truck and the other. I don't care. You can go on all day about which one is best. But I like F-150s, right? So I bought one. First one I've owned and this and that, and I've had it for almost eight, seven years now, seven years. Oh. And I love it. It's fine. The only thing is uh, it has that EcoBoost engine, and there was a mistake that they made when they started. So at around 150,000 kilometers, uh, I don't even know what that converts to to miles, but it um, it's over 100. But it uh, there's a the timing chain started to stretch, and you can imagine all the trouble that that has. Now I don't know what I'm talking about about replacing cam phasers and things like this, but it was a four thousand dollar repair that obviously is their fault, but not under warranty. So that was pleasant. Oh yeah. No, no, that's what I'm saying. It happened yeah. at 150. Warranty runs out at 100. Depending, I guess, but that's, uh, yeah. that wasn't fun. That's That might be true, Brighton Billy. I, yeah, the cars get smoother. I have driven a couple of sticks before. Um, I forget what I even had. I had one you car had for like a, a month. Um, but every year it gets better and better and better. Like for instance, my Ford F-150 is a 2013, but there was a time I was running a place and driving somebody else's Escalade around all the time. And that was 10 years before or something. And I said, yeah. well, you know, in the last 10 years, I'll bet you a Ford F-150 drives like a Cadillac did 10 years ago. And sure enough, it does, right? It's smooth. So I bet you're right about the, um, about the stick. I wonder about the clutch. But I'm still okay for now. I'm, I'm still looking forward to it, so we'll see. I don't know if I'll do that. My son's old enough now that, you know, even if I bought a car and kept it for five years and handed it off, he'd be happy with it. And then I'll do uh, something else. We don't. You never know what life is going to bring in the next five years, right? It's just a guess for now. Tacoma. There you go. Wow. This is Jesse says he's got a Toyota Tacoma that's 20 years old. Huh? That's what I'm counting on. Wow. With they, my... They own it. It's, uh, it's, it's paid for itself. Oh, 100% has to have, right? <laughs> that's what I'm counting on. That's why that I bought a truck. It. I said now my family will have this truck to uh, move everybody around. As the family grows, more people need to move things around. And, you know, maybe the kids will buy toys someday and stuff like that. And they can tow it all and this and that. So yeah. I keep the thing pristine. I drive it like a car. But that's that's good news to hear that this is just that you can. That's uh, crazy, eh? Maybe there'll be truth to the idea. We can keep the truck for 20 years. Highlander is more of a truck. The Forerunners are great too. We are not wasting epoxy. This is the last scoop. Last few scoops here. That's it. Fuck it, empty boys. We didn't waste a damn thing. Ben Newton's in the house. What's up, Ben? Me, Brains in the house. Good to see you both. Good. We're just uh, doing some epoxy. I'm, it's uh, hardening up on me. I'm just trying to. This is like uh, filling in the really deep holes, and then we're gonna have to squeegee it uh, the first coat on tomorrow, Canada Day. But uh, it'll be um, after today. The rest of the work is fairly easy. Uh, besides, we're going up the wall. We're going up the wall a bit. But, uh, See, Ben, all you have to look forward to if you come to Canada and work for Do It All Feeling. <laughs> Ben, are you still hungover? <laughs> You're looking good uh, last night, brother. Dude, that was uh, something else, man. I gotta say. It was good, man. <laughs> that was good. Oh, you know what? This uh, plus this epoxy. You know what? I think I know what's going on too. I made it so thick it's not even sit, sit, uh, uh, settling in the holes. It's or it's thickening up. It's actually not not too thick. It's thickening up. But I'm almost out. <laughs> Thailand Heron wants to know if you ever iced a cake. <laughs> if I have what? Iced a cake. Oh. That's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, right? I know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> oh. We're definitely not wasting any here. There we go. Okay. Still, Jesse, 20 years? That's, uh, I, I'd be happy buying any amount of oil for a thing like Ooh. that. That's what I'm praying for, man, is to really, really get value out of a truck. I'm thinking of having it uh, rust inhibited again or whatever the hell you call it when uh, you 
spray it and this and that so that I can, uh, things are in pristine condition right now, but I just want to keep it that way for another seven, eight, ten years if I can. Just try to make sure there's no anything left over. It's hard to get the, uh, you can't get the floor like perfect, but uh, so you can see these little, I got them. But the, Andrew G in the house. What's up, Andrew G? Okay, I can take a quick five minute break before we mix the next one. So now I don't have to worry about the epoxy hardening up because I was doing the cuts around the wall. Cuts take a lot longer. But now I'm just troweling the floor. Now it's just a question. This is the worst side. I'm doing the worst side first, and this side's not, not going to be so bad. Yeah, this is not, so, this is not uh, as terrible, right? You, you said you got four kits if you need them. But yeah, you might three do it with three. Sure. So if you look at how much product has been used, this is a full kit. All this uh, area that looks like about one six. Two liters. It's of two liters. Floor. And he did all the cuts with that one kit. So I think it's reasonable to say that um, I think you're going to get into the last kit. I think you're going to use it's all four. Possible, yeah. But I I don't know. But you Ooh. can see how um, you know these kits. That we're talking oh, about. Here. 60 people in the chat. That's awesome, guys. That's one kit there, and That's the buckets are no nowhere near full. You'll see when we open the next one. It's only got like a third in it or a quarter, yeah. but it's just the way they are. <laughs> Boomerang in the house. How you doing, brother? What's up, Boomerang? <laughs> Me, Brand. How you doing? Yeah. Andrew G. Yep. Yep. Oh. All right, that's cool. Uh, what else we got here? I wonder about those Camrys because it's the bigger car than the uh, Corolla. I'd like to have, um, I, I wonder, see, the, if, when I think about getting something, the next thing I get is really only for me. Uh, my girlfriend has a car that we'll use as like, you know, when we go places and stuff like that, but mine's just for zipping back and forth if my parents need something or if I'm still working with Jeff. Uh, so often and stuff like that back and forth to Toronto but I wonder about something a little bit bigger like that like a Camry I wonder I'll look when it's time still two three years away but I like thinking about it oh the, let, me, uh, let me just take a sip of water and, uh, one second boys let me get a sip of water Thailand hair and it's not that it cracked it's just over time water salt from the cars like so living in Canada we have our winters that are full of uh, you know ice and snow and this and that so they salt the roads and driveways and things like that um, to try to help um, and then all that stuff gets on the uh, gets on the ground and between all the different elements, I guess it just and I don't I don't know the truth about a, a floor that was put down oh. the concrete thirty years ago. It looks like they did something else to it. Now I don't know if that was mm. ever paint or something else. What what do you think this is here? Oh, it's paint. It's it was old, okay. old, old, old paint. Now what I'm gonna do? So I know I added a bag and a little bit. I added a bag and I like a third of another bag. Now I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna to make it uh, the viscosity a little bit better. I'm just gonna add one bag of uh, part C thickener i should be able to travel it much smoother yeah i'm just gonna put one bag in gene crown is where i'll go for sure mm -hmm. oh i'm so okay this is one kit yeah i'm so completely soaked <laughs> the underwear everything is soaked <laughs> this is only the first here I, I should let you chris is asking chris is asking why you're only uh, doing a little bit of the floor a little bit of the floor? Oh, you got to read the comment. Read okay, it. yeah, hold on. Yeah. Oh. Toyota's something else, man. You add, A lot of mechanics will say, like, they just, oh, they, yeah, they run forever, and that's it. Like, they're cheap to fix. They're running hey, forever. Hey, Chris, how you doing, brother? Okay, yeah. Uh, hey, Chidori TV. I uh, know about this, uh, but why are, you brush, uh, why are you brushing only some parts of the floor? I'm just curious. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, um, so if you look at the floor. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> go oh. ahead, go ahead. Sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm, no, that's okay, yeah. So, Chris. The floor, I'm doing the whole floor, but if you notice, so like this over here is fine. So we don't really need to put a patch there, and over here is bad. 
So I'm just, I'm, I'm doing an area at a time. I'm forcing the epoxy into the holes to get rid of the air bubbles. So then you see it's improving. It's, it's not a hundred percent, but we're still going to, we're going to flood it with epoxy tomorrow, but I'm trying to fill in as much of the uh, holes as I can. Um, so it, it's tedious work. It's all by hand tomorrow. I pour it and I squeegee it and back roll it. Tomorrow, like today, yesterday and today are the hardest part. The rest of it is uh, easier work. It's just time consuming. That's it. But uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm forcing it into the uh, floor, doing it by hand. But uh, yeah, so that's why I'm doing that. <laughs> AC, AC 469, under nor normal circumstances, yes, I do work hourly. With Jeff, we count hours and, and it, it works out, you know, a lot differently, especially in the summer. Sometimes there's long weeks and I do okay. But right now, because of what's going on in the world, um, in order for me to even be able to stay employed with Jeff, um, the right thing to do is to take a pay cut, which yeah. not that it matters, but I did offer, you know, because you can't have, um, you know, right now, while things are, have been different for a few months, it's a longer struggle to get this season going. So there's no point in me, you know, trying to stick out and say, well, you know, I got to I got to live and this and that, because then Jeff wouldn't necessarily be able to afford to keep me afloat. Now, probably he could have anyway, but I've taken uh, quite a pay cut. We're both going to survive and everything's just fine. Life's not going to change or anything like that. But um, yeah, yeah, that's uh, the, because of the state of the world. Um, we're just doing that and I do a lot of my own work. That's why I'm only with Jeff three days a week right now. And then uh, basically what we do is, you know, however long the day is, you know, the day is, if we have to work a 16 hour day, then that's fine right now because later in the season, we'll go back to the way things usually are. I'm back on an hourly rate or whatever, but this helps us both because I get to stay um, without any change in, in uh, any disastrous change in life and everybody's going to be just fine. <laughs> but it makes it a little bit easier on Jeff too. Yes, thanks, thanks, silly dog. Yeah, yeah, boomerang. He, uh, Kevin wants to come to Vegas when we all go. We'll see how that goes. We were talking about it today, yeah, as a matter of fact. Tomorrow's Canada Day, holiday. Maybe Jeff won't. Uh, I forgot have to it. Yeah, it's tomorrow <laughs> already. I forgot. We're, we're working tomorrow in the day. Yeah. But at nighttime, Kevin and myself, we're gonna take turns streaming from yeah. two different bars. I'll go first. It should and be fun. Jeff and we're not gonna drink and drive. We never do anything. No, no, we're Uber. 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 I got to see if I can. How fast can you sign up for Uber? I've never actually. Oh, the only fast. time I've used credit Uber, card. I've been with Jeff. He just, just gets card. it, but now. Or just use mine. I, I, I have it. Well, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I should sign up so I have it because I'd hate to ever be oh. stuck somewhere and need it. So maybe I'll oh, sign up tomorrow. Let me just grab more gloves. I'm ready to watch out now. Look how long that that probably kit. How long? How long we've been streaming? It that took that long. That was one hour to do that kit. I guarantee you, I'll go through the next kit in like less than that. I'll go through the next kit in like 25 minutes. Not even, not even. Mm. Let me just grab some gloves. Michael, we, do, we will be doing flakes at the end. So we do, this is the patching to smooth the floor. Then we do two coats of color. Then we do flakes and then we do one coat of clear over the uh, top of everything. What the floor is going to look like. I have a card. I wonder if they want to see. Do you guys yeah, 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 yeah. Do you guys want to see what the floor is going to look like? I'll show you. Hang on. I'll show you. Oh, that's, yeah, easy. Yeah, this is Jesse. It's funny. I just haven't had to use it. And like I said, the only couple of times that I've been out where we've needed it, I've beaten either with Jeff or I can't, maybe I've only used it once. And, uh, and that was it. But I did think about that. Got to get on that because, like I said, you'd hate to be stuck somewhere. You know, I got those long two-hour drives, and uh, you have a car breakdown or something. You can get the, the car or the truck somewhere, but then you still got to get home. These, okay, so these two here are the most popular floors. Anyhow, so I'll, I'll show put, you what this put, is. Try to put them in the light. All right, yeah, yeah. okay, we'll go over here. So I this, it's not sunny now. Yeah, this is what this floor is going to be. It's gray with charcoal flakes. So you see... The difference in what we're doing now that's just patching so it's not even the color we're using anyway yeah. but you see the difference of what that's going to look like and how the flakes are going to cover the imperfections yeah so the like the, the two most popular ones are these two these two are the uh so the sandstone these are uh yeah so this is a custom brown with sandstone flakes and this is uh most people just go with these two but you can you can do anything you want i can do any kind of floor i can write your i can engrave your your company logo on the floor 
you know, you can, you can do all kinds of funky things with these epoxy stuff. I can also put anti-slip stuff. I can put uh, custom flakes designs. I can do all kinds of things. I forgot about that. One of the comments earlier was me asking about the grip. So for this stuff, oh, we're not yeah. worried about it. But when it's done, yeah, you can put sand. You can put grip, yeah. <clears throat> This is Jesse says, and, and use Jeff's referral code to get five to give the five dollars <laughs> oh, off the first. That. Actually, you know what's so funny? Uh, I didn't set that up yet. Uh, uh, Terry at the epoxy place, he wants to make a link. Right. Yeah. For the epoxy, because you know what? I'm so I've referred so many people to this epoxy, and I never made one dollar from it. Why not just get? This is the whole thing. It's you're sending people to a business. Why not? It's like you're being a salesperson for that thing. It's the same thing I do for Amazon. Why not get paid to refer people? Why not? You absolutely should, right? Absolutely. But um, yeah, so that, that, that'd be interesting. Uh, can you duplicate uh, a tie sidewalk in my driveway? Dude, I can do anything you want, brother. <laughs> Black with silver flakes, that'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, okay, this is, uh, I cleaned this off. I hope, oh, 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 did I clean it off well enough? This is the problem. I gotta make sure the squeegee's uh, in good hands. We only have the one squeegee. Okay. Yeah, this stuff's like uh, it. It's like glue. I gotta make sure it's uh, clean uh, for the next uh, next one. Okay. Um, We had a couple that are interesting to see, AC. We got, um, we did one that I mentioned earlier that was a five car garage. We did a video of that 100%. Yeah. Um, and that was like done with flakes and everything else. And the client changed the color. Oh. Remember that? Yeah. They changed the color in the middle of the job. Which, like, I was at the last second, but it's okay. Did we but, finish one coat or two coats of the color and they changed? I can't remember. I think... I don't remember either. I don't was, remember either. It was, either. uh, but... It, and they paid for it, though. They paid for yeah. it. I mean, I gave them a deal. But, but that was, was uh, that was a five-car garage. The way that that house was built yeah. was interesting because the five-car garage, uh, the cars all line up side by side yeah. at the front of the house. So you got five garage doors, and the house is on top. So it's, it's kind of weird because, you know, like, I don't know if they got an elevator in there. I don't imagine so. But otherwise, like, you get home and you got to walk up those stairs every time, which is fine. But it's an interesting large garage. I think, <laughs> I think their walls were beige or taupe or whatever you call that color. I don't think it was gray, but um, <clears throat> it was interesting what they were doing. Yeah. But it's an interesting floor to see, though. <laughs> can you put my ex's face on my garage floor? Dude, I can do that, sure. T put a picture and you clear coat over it. <laughs> And it's embedded. <laughs> a friend of mine had a great idea for a nightclub floor. What he wanted to do was get like every kind of Canadian dollar printed as flyers and we'd throw them all over the floor. So you have oh, hundreds yeah. and fives and twenties and everything yeah, and then yeah, yeah. clear clear coat over top of it. Yeah, yeah. Then when people drop money in the middle of the night, they'll never yeah. find it. <laughs> AC 469. Uh, no, not less hardener. I, I just put the hardener in now. All the hardener. Uh, less, uh, like, I, uh, I should have watched what he was, I should yeah. have showed you what he was doing. I already put the hardener in. That's the hardener. This is almost like styrofoamy, stone, uh, foamy, like, uh, flakes. It, it, it just thickens up the epoxy, but, um, yeah, no, um, the hardener is the same, just, uh, uh, less, uh, thickness. So I'm just going to put one bag in. I, I want the viscosity to be, uh, to be, um, a little more thinner so I can, uh, <laughs> 
so I can travel it easier. I'm going to try one bag this time of mix. I think I'm going to work my way down, or at least out this way. Mm -hmm. We'll save the uh, we'll save this side for last. Let's see. Oh, I get mixed them, so I do. Mix this <laughs> tuning chair. <laughs> Gotta make sure the epoxy is mixed thoroughly, otherwise you destroy the whole job. <clears throat> They might, Robert Mack, they might have something inside, I don't know, in front of the door to, so they don't forget and accidentally walk out. Walk out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think they know, yeah. <laughs> when that sucked. Yeah. Stormer's, Stormer's asking a question. You should read it, though, about, uh, here, the yeah. clean, how to clean it up. Oh, right. Uh, what's the clean up on that? Those inners worth acetone. Oh yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's acetone. Um, now, however, if you like, so say I ha if you have it on your hands and stuff. So if I want to clean it off my hands, actually gas will work when it's wet. AC just asked for me to show mixing right now. Oh yeah, uh, I should have thought of it. I'm sitting yeah. here reading the chat and. So I just uh, so here we go. But you'll see this now. We mixed A and B, which was the hardener. Now I'm just going to put one full bag of this. Uh, it's like a fluffy, almost like a fluffy powdery styrofoam thing. I actually don't even know what the heck it is. Yeah. But uh, I'm just going to mix one of these bags. It reminds me of something, but I can't think of what it is. Almost like a, 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 a almost like insulation yeah. of some sort. Um, it's it's like a. Cotton candy almost, but That's it's not. Good. Yeah, yeah. So it's a lot thinner. That's gonna work a lot better, guys. It takes a couple minutes, so you really gotta get it consistent. <laughs> Ice fishing. <laughs> Fiberglass, yeah, it could be. Oh yes, yes. I think that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could be. It could be powdered fi uh, fiberglass. Yep. Give it this way. <laughs> <Don't. laughs> yeah, yeah. You wouldn't want to consume uh, this for sure. Yeah. Resin plates. Yeah. Still 60 people in the chat, man. Thanks so much. You guys are thumbing it up. Thank you. Yeah, this is a lot better. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll be done this bucket in like 20 minutes. Not even. Oh, yeah. Way better. Way better. All right. Okay. Let's get the gloves on. I'll give you a little longer to work with it. Too, oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. A few minutes. I, I won't even, I won't run into the problem. I will. There. It's hard to believe that. So that's one kit. And if you try to think about, okay, there's a quarter, quarter, quarter. We don't have enough. In a sense, you would think that, but I think we uh, we do. This is the worst part. We get over there, it's a lot better. Yeah, no, I was pointing it out. Like, Jeff did with one kit, he did the whole out, outer. outer ring and that, like, one-sixth of the floor area there. So, and this, um, well, actually, you know, that's that we have to get from there. Within four kits, for sure, you got to be able to get that done. Yeah. Are you, are you, you're not going down the stairs with this, are you? No, no, stairs are done. Yeah, yeah. stairs are done. So I think, uh, yeah. I'll just show you guys. we got to get down here, too. In the event that we run out, <laughs> we actually could go get more, but uh, I don't think that will be the case. It better not be the case. And for sure he's not there tomorrow? For sure, 100%. He's yeah. not there tomorrow. So I would have to rush, rush, rush today. Like Companies we know are close tomorrow, like for Canada Day, but you yeah. never know when it's like a guy running a small business. Maybe yeah. they're uh, maybe they're there, but not, not tomorrow. Where's the... Uh, darn it. Oh, okay. Ah. All right, let's see what we Oh, um, Chris is asking about wearing a mask. Oh, yeah, I already uh, mentioned that. So, uh, Chris, this is environmentally friendly. There's no, uh, it's not solvent-based. It's not water-based, it's not solvent-based. It's 100% 100 uh, solids. You don't need a mask with this. It's uh, completely safe. You can use it around food, everything. Restaurants. Industrial, everything. This, that's why I love this product so much. No mask. 
hardly any odor. Okay, you're right, but it's um, it, he can't get the control by uh, by standing with a thing. I imagine I don't know though, but either way, he's uh, just done so much of this stuff. He knows what he's getting into. looks like now though. This is great. This is good stuff. This is a lot easier doing it this way. With one bag you mean? Guys already seen Costa Verde. Oh, Costa Verde. Have, oh. They, have they seen it? They uh, have. You. Some people have. I forgot. Yeah. You did it for lunch that day when you were stealing. I haven't been stealing. there for a while, though. Yeah, I haven't been there for a while. But then, yeah, we might go there after. I don't know. We'll see how if we keep the stream going. If you guys want to see it, but I don't know. <laughs> if you want to see us eat lunch. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that, dude. This is way better. We're moving. I really do hope I have enough, though, because. That's gonna suck. What time is it? Oh, uh, let me see if I can figure that out. Four o'clock. Four? Um, yeah. Yeah, we won't make it. Either. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. We gotta make it work. Good news, when you get over that, I have to get this side done. This is my other side, so. Explorer, yeah, it comes right off. Uh, engine oil and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, I don't know what happens if you have an oil leak and you leave it for three years. But yeah. even then, yeah. so easy to clean, it's just out of control. The floor yeah. always looks brand new. Keeps the dust away. It's amazing. AC, we're going to try to stream every day, yeah? For for this for this job we'll try yeah. to and then this this is the last job on Jeff Lepard channel yeah um, and then we're gonna put this kind of work on the do it all ceiling channel and we're gonna start streaming there probably next week yep. if you haven't subscribed subscribe to that channel too that'd be good. Maybe it does actually look a little bit better with less thickener, eh? Yeah, it does, yeah. Stormers say in that, but when you when you think, I don't know if there's much of a difference because, uh, but some of this looks really, really smooth compared yeah. to what it was, right? Yeah. It'll be even better tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope you have enough patch kit to go through it today, guys. <laughs> Just well, Terry's a distributor for this, or, or is it his he's stuff? He's the owner. Oh, he he makes it. He makes it. He oh, makes there you go. No. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not Home Depot or Canadian. No, entire. definitely not Home Depot. <laughs> yeah. They did actually, uh, Thailand Heron. They did. Uh, these guys came out within. Uh, well, we started and they were out, but they came back and uh, brought us a coffee within half an hour, an iced coffee. 
but um, my assumption is, and of course I got to watch what I say, but based on my assumptions about the area, I'm pretty sure it was authentic too. Yeah, this stuff, uh, this is just, actually, here's a crack right here. How are you? Oh, Jeff, you want to? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you. I can't this. touch it yet. No. How are you doing? See this? Um, this is not so terrible. Uh, this one is about 38. 3800. Yeah, there's a lot of crack. So this is not the worst we've seen. There's a couple of bad divots there. I don't think there's any other horrible spot in this floor. But this stuff, yeah, it does fill all of that. And when it's done, it, it all but disappears. Of course, depending on how many coats you put, right? Typically, we do this, two coats of color and a coat of um, clear. But the flakes really hide the imperfections. Yeah, Explorer, you're right, and we're feeling it. We're lucky we've got some shade right now, and we are in a garage, so we're overhead. So we get the fresh air, but we still get the uh, shade. But it's a hot one. Okay. I'm actually getting worried. <laughs> I don't know if we have enough. I don't know why this floor is sucking it up. I'm a little bit worried. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We got two more kits after this, right? Ooh. You know what? The, the, most important thing is to get the uh, the worst stuff filled in. Mm. The floor is just drinking it. <laughs> does he want to know how much it costs, or does he want to know how much his friend spent? <laughs> I think he. Uh, you gotta wonder that, eh? When I, yeah, when I, the neighbors come around asking how much was yeah, that? He asked me like four times. He's like, that much? I'm like, yeah. He's like, like, not three hundred and eighty dollars, right? Like, no. Oh no. <laughs> no, not that much. <laughs> you never know, AC, whether whether somebody's asking because they actually want a price and they might have be interested, yeah. or if they just want to know how much their neighbor's spending on something. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you just never know, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true too. Yeah. <laughs> They do, uh, Thailand hair, and yeah, the, they're... Um, Competition. What are, the, what are the flakes? They're paint, no? Yeah, paint, paint, paint chips. Paint chips, chips. yeah. And they, um, yeah, it just, it, it gives it a, a color. Like, we've all seen somewhere uh, epoxy floors with custom flakes, but it does hide the imperfections as well, so it's a bonus yeah. to having it. Explorers going camping, that's a good time. Oh, nice. No, I, I think he'll have enough AC. Ah, uh, no Jeff, comment. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I, I, don't, I don't want so. to ruin the suspense, but Jeff has a habit of saying, oh, I'm a little bit worried. I don't know if we're going to make it. I, but I actually don't think so. al almost always comes through. I thought I bought too much. There's no way. There's only two more kits. Barry, we're not, we still got two kits to go. So one kit did all of the outside and about this much area. The second kit, which he's about halfway through now, the buckets are really empty. They're not full when we open them. I, I think he'll do it. Really? I think so. I think Chad's gonna vote now. I, I, uh, I don't know what to vote. <laughs> as long as the, I see, I can still fill it in with the other epoxy. I think the most important part, I got obviously I'm gonna get this done, I'm gonna get this done. So here's the funny thing is, let's say I run out. So look at these cracks here. I'll show you. This floor, I know I will have enough. If I don't have enough to get to here, I can still fill it in with the first coat tomorrow. Oh. 
I can't. I have to go really thick there. And when you back roll, because you got to back roll when you squeegee, you got you can't press. You got to uh, let the roller be very wet, and you got to lightly back roll so that you don't uh, uh, pull up the epoxy from the uh, grooves. Mantle Kate is asking a question, but I'll have you actually read it. But okay. yeah, the, there's a there's a big slope here. If I was to guess, I would say that that's a good. Um, maybe you could tell the way I'm showing it now. I'd say that's four, three or four, maybe even five degrees. Yeah. Oh slope. yeah. It goes and then. So, so anything in here is going to run right out. Yeah. Um. Slightly uh, snow out the concrete pocket. Oh yeah, yeah. It's definitely going out anyway, but. Uh, at least it's got a the drain that yeah at least it's got drainage uh, sloping outward that's that's for sure that's hundred percent for sure yeah um, yeah let's see I'm not gonna work myself out of this corner <laughs> AC yes absolutely <laughs> oh Lewis Cobble came in hey Lewis Lewis you want to come give me a hand there brother <laughs> what's up Lewis Well, Explorer's pointing out that this might be a standard finish on the floor. Yeah, when I was talking earlier about um, snow and ice and all that or, uh, salt and all that other stuff, the truth is I don't really know. I'm, I'm guessing more than anything, but it is a 30-year-old floor or something like that. <laughs> Very gritter. No, this is the this is the uh, second day in a five day process. Would have been four, but uh, I didn't. I ran out of time, and uh, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't get the uh, pot down on time yesterday. The first day is always grinding the floor. Yeah. To take out like if you've got any uh, bumps, like anything rising above, right? Uh, and then sometimes you can do the patching the first day as well. Second day is a coat of color. Third day is a second coat of color. And the fourth day is flakes. Or actually, sorry. The third day is a second coat of color and flakes if you're using flakes. Yes. On the and then coat. Yep. the last day is a clear coat. Well, look at this, guys. It uh, looks like we got this part done. I don't know how much farther they're going to get with this kit. The holes are sucking up the epoxy. That's the problem. Ty Z wants to come and help. Ty Z? Yeah. Come on in here, brother. How you doing? <laughs> Lots of divots here. Just... <laughs> <laughs> this, this is Jesse, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, what are we uh, doing your uh, your garage, brother? I can. Somehow have, actually, I can have the product shipped. Barry Gritter, the reason why, though, is not because of, um, it's not from dragging it out. You've got to give the epoxy 8 to 10 hours to dry in between coats. Uh, even, even longer. This one's going to take longer because it's not quick set. Why, how long is these? This one's going to be uh, 16, 18 hours. Maybe, oh. uh, six, but in this humidity, maybe, uh, maybe 14, 16 hours. There you go. So that, that's why, so we got to hurry up and get the job done and give it the 16 hours to dry before we can get back for the next yeah. coat. So there's no way for us to make this job any faster than four days. Yeah. Um, almost always somebody wants two coats of uh, color. If there was no repairs, it would be a three-day job. If there was no repairs, yeah. Oh, uh, AC, we have a, at least a couple of videos on the Do-It-All Ceiling channel of this exact work. Yeah. Um, where they're, those are clear and concise uh, videos where we show the whole process, including the grinding. Yeah, oh yeah, the grinding is on there, yeah. <laughs> Barry says, it's cheaper to tarmac it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. I guess it would be, yeah, it definitely would be. Chris Good. just... Uh, have a look. Oh, wow. Hey, uh, have you guys eaten something? Not yet, sir. I'm uh, going to make uh, and eat some food. Cheers, Jeff and Kevin. Thank you so much, uh, Chris. 
Uh, Bechi Dory TV, thank you so much, brother. Can't wait till you uh, get your YouTube channel going up and running there. Thank you so much, brother. Um, thank, thanks so much for that, brother. Thank, thanks so much. Yeah. I think that's uh, what's that where it to be? I think that's uh, da, 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 something like twenty Canadian or something like that. Something like that. Thank, probably, thank yeah. you so much, brother. We're gonna get some food after the job. So this is the worst part here. Once I get past this part, it'll get a lot easier. Thank you for that. And thanks, there you man. go. There's it's. Stream Elements just dropped the link for the Do It All Ceiling channel. So, um, oh, AC, the jobs are over there that we've done, uh, the videos for how Jeff does all of this. And then as well, um, for anybody that hasn't already subscribed to Do It All Ceiling, we're going to start after this job next week. We'll start streaming on the Do It All Ceiling channel. And then we won't do it, uh, probably any more work streams on Jeff Lepard. We'll still be like hanging out uh, on the way to work, food, but uh, the actual work, I'll keep it on that stream or on that uh, that uh, channel. Oh gosh, floors actually uh, like think about how it looked before with the uh, Beachmaster. How you doing? What's up, Beachmaster? How you doing, brother? Like you're always gonna, you know, the just imagine all those flakes are gonna cover up the imperfection, and we haven't even put the first coat on. First coat, second coat, this is already going to be even better. And then the flakes and the clear coat, the floor is going to look like immaculate. This year, this floor is 30 years old. It's going to look almost brand new, almost brand new, pretty much. Uh, um, okay, so we worked out of this corner. Where are we going now? Uh, let's go back up this way, I think. Ooh. All right. Okay, we've got a couple. You want to... Right here. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. You always got to make sure you get the uh, any um, little bit of uh, uh, when you drop the epoxy, it'll harden up like concrete. Oh, worse than that, but all right. We don't want to have to grind the whole floor. Yeah. Again. All right. So here's where we left off. This part here is good. So we're gonna drop some right here. This Robert is... White, good to see you. Awesome. Yeah. All right. You could actually explore. Maybe we'll do a mukbang video. <laughs> hey, we could eat off the floor after. Oh, yeah. Oh, you totally could. You actually can, yeah. Like that. You guys ever see that Bissell commercial? That's <laughs> one of my favorite commercials of all time. Um, the guy takes the owner, the CEO or whatever he is, he takes a Bissell vacuum cleaner down into a subway station, goes onto the floor, cleans it with the Bissell vacuum, and then eats his um, French fries dipping it in uh, ketchup right on the floor and he goes i'm the ceo or whatever it is of uh, bissell and i stand behind this product <laughs> That's uh, true, like, dude that is That's incredible <laughs> that is that is eh? absolutely um ac's asking how much the job is oh okay yeah that's a fair question so uh i'll give you a range anyway um this floor you can get I'd say uh, this is about um, 450 square feet uh, with some walls. So let's call it 500, uh, under 500 square feet. So Because you're talking about going up the walls or no? Just six inches. I'm going so up the walls. He's, he's going to go up the wall six inches, which isn't standard, but it yeah. depends on if they want that, plus these stairs. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'll give you a range anyway, average price, depending on where, what city you're from too. Uh, it's like if you go where Niagara, where Kevin's from, uh, this job is probably worth, uh, I know the company out that, there, they're charging about uh, uh, s probably about seven or $8,000 for this floor. Whereas here, uh, this is, uh, they're going great probably, so you don't um, outsell yourself on the job. You probably get, uh, uh, say, 36 to 42. That's it, I quit. Price. See ya, yeah, I'm going to start an epoxy <laughs> company, guys. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Yeah, but that's, that's what it is, yep. About that. And that would be a good price for this floor. I don't care what the uh, cost of the material is. It, all you could, of if, even if you could only... You know you could pull off two of these jobs a week, right? Yeah. So if you, if you, even if it was Monday to Friday, <laughs> Monday, you grind and patch one job, yeah. and then Tuesday morning, you Actually, go... You all the ones, I mean, better. Uh, if you could. If you could, yeah. If you could. If not, yeah. uh, Tuesday, you grind and patch the second job. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're doing the uh, 
color and clear coats on both and uh, pull off anywhere from 10 to 15 or more grand a week. Doesn't matter what the expenses are at that point. Oh, yeah. It ain't five grand, so. Yeah. The, the thing is, uh, when you compare like paint to a boxy, paint is so much cheaper than this product. And like, sometimes when people don't understand, like you, you look at this, like it's like paint, it looks like paint, it's paint. It's not paint. And uh, the cost, even my cost on this, like, uh, my material for this, I think my material is going to be somewhere around like uh, probably uh, fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars for this. Um, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh yeah, uh, Thailand here on yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's the thing. I know what I'm doing anyway. It's 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 all good. I'm not worried about uh, there's there's no mistakes. Anything that's going to go wrong for uh, Posse, I stand behind my work. I warranty everything. Hundred percent good. <laughs> but thanks, brother. <laughs> yeah. That's the best thing, too. When I go live, anything happens, you guys will see it. Like, uh, if anything happens, then things can happen. But, uh, yeah, for, for this kind of work, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it uh, so long that I'm, not, I'm actually not even worried. It always comes out pretty good. You'll, you'll see this floor. This floor is going to be amazing. Well, we don't want to waste anything. Look at this. We're actually yielding a little bit. Uh... Oh, Beachmaster. <laughs> it, e even if there was, even if there was trade secrets, it doesn't matter. Because after a little yeah, while, yeah. well, Jeff's been at it so long that there's customers that will, like, you know, insist on paying him. There's, there's, um, I never believe in paying more for something than you, than you have to. But at the same time, you know, we all at times go for brand names or we all at times will have somebody that we trust and I'd rather pay for the trust. Yeah. Um, you know, Jeff always goes back and does the warranty work, um, sometimes even unjustified. Like, so that's a thought right there. But when people have seen the work on YouTube, yeah. it's one thing when we say, here, look at pictures of our work or call a, custom, a couple of our customers. Oh, here's my resume. Oh, YouTube's a resume. <laughs> right. It's another thing when you say, like, we're actually getting stickers done for the trucks that say, watch us work on YouTube. And you can't, you can't beat that kind of advertising, right? So that was the first reason why to bother starting youtube in the first place online resume it just makes it even more solid yeah. right but there are people who would rather just have jeff do it yeah than than Ooh. anybody else of course so oh. always somebody's going to come by if you're doing a floor for four grand somebody's going to say well i'll do it for 3500 yeah. always yeah. Yeah. yeah but of somebody course. might say no 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 it's okay i want the guy that i know to do it because i don't Come want on. a headache after guess what guys i think we're gonna make it Press one in the chat if you think I have enough kits. Press two if you think I'm going to run out. <laughs> That's two kits. I only have two kits left. I still have, this is a na nasty part of the floor, and this is uh, not so nasty part of the floor. What do you guys think? I'm going to uh, just put this aside. I'm going to join the chat. There's another, uh, Bobby, Bobby Thrush there. says there might be silicon self-leveler too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there could be. Yeah, I think so. Oh, Ooh. what do we got? Ones? You guys voting ones? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have enough. <laughs> All right, we got that. Let's put this aside. <laughs> Pedro's got a one and a two. We got oh, a couple yeah. of couple of ones and a two and a three. Oh, really? A six point five. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, Lewis Capo says two. Uh, you think I'm going to run out, eh? All right, let me see. All right, here we go. We're in the chat. What was that thing here? Let me just see on the... Oh, yeah. Okay, see, I, can't, I can't bet with anybody. I can predict, I can predict the future Kevin accurately. Uh, one, two, one, one, one. Okay, so you guys are just kind of like all over the place. All right. Second, but real close. It is actually close, yeah. Uh, what I want to know is after another year of live streams, when Jeff says, oh, I might run out if the bets will change. Yeah. I have a feeling everybody will be like, no, you'd be fine. This flight will land it? Let's hope. Yeah. That, that's one uncontrollable thing. This stuff, when you do a boxy, it's like a big stick trap. You can catch, I've caught mice, rats, 
uh, spiders. I think we, I think we did on that, that floor. I was talking yep. about the five car garage. The, yep. Didn't a, a, a <clears throat> mouse run across the yep. whole thing or and something? Pick up the mouse out of the damn thing, and the, it, it's, it's grabbing onto its legs. You pull the mouse up and it leaves the leg into the, into the epoxy. You use your scraper. To... <laughs> oh man, good times, good times. Let's see. Uh, oh, the more. sand job on the patio. Yeah, that's I remember that. Yeah. I need another water break, and then uh, we'll mix the next one. <laughs> see, Ty Z says two, but real close, and AC Seriously? says yeah. he, he says it every time. <laughs> <laughs> AC, I've been I've been, I've been work, I've been working with this guy for five years. <laughs> I should bet because I could really start making a, a second income okay, just doing that. I know you're gonna. gonna I know you're gonna make it because I think what, so. Yeah. What What would any contractor do when they get down to the last ten square you feet? Can't, you can't stretch it though. <laughs> you, you can't, right? Jeff will Jeff will use that trowel and scrape the inside of the bucket until the plastic <laughs> starts coming off. Gonna, yeah. But the truth is, it doesn't matter that, because yeah. if we had to come and patch a tiny little bit or or fill yeah. extra in a in a spot that's not too bad yeah. with uh, the rest the other epoxy, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, it's uh it is a close call. Like, this is gonna it's gonna drink. This one's gonna drink almost all of it. Yeah, this is that's a yeah, but I, there's that, no there's no save in a kit. We're using all the kits. That's a hungry area. It is a hungry area. Here is not so bad. No. So I think we're gonna we're gonna yield on here. I think it's gonna move on here. I think it's not so bad here. <laughs> Lucky Luke, what's up, brother? Secret stash around the corner. No secret stash. No, those are the last last two kits right there. That's it. That is it. Uh, still has the stairs. I already did the stairs. I did that uh, yesterday. Oh yeah, because he was only using a little bit different epoxy. I had a different uh, mix, but um, yeah, it just it didn't work out. It was different. Let me grab a drink of water. And I'll be right back. Stuff. So that's all good. trick everybody into thinking I eat, I drink water all day. <laughs> no? All right. All right. So. Okay. Wait a second. Weird. It looks like it's going to rain and nothing. That trailer's in pristine condition. He Wait. got it uh, after the first season. How long have you had it? Seven years or something? You got it the season after I worked with you. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Six or seven years now. Maybe maybe six years, something like that. Pristine condition. Mm -hmm. That's actually been a, a great trailer, I think, right? Oh, yeah. Love that trailer. Best thing I ever bought, too. Well, one of the best things. I've not um, not necessarily... Um, Did you say it was a demo model? Yeah. This was, oh, and it's got the, the one lever door, everything on it. It's all... Okay. I'll complain all the time, right? Because I'm the one who has to work with Jeff that, you know, when he wants to buy something, let's say we need a new leaf blower or something, he doesn't want to buy a new one. He wants to go on Kijiji and pay. I even have a new one in, in, in office. I have another one. But buy something for, uh, you could have got for 100 bucks for 50 bucks. And I said, sometimes, if you're going to be doing this for 20 years, buy a new one sometimes, yeah, right? Yeah. When it's something cheap. If you have to spend 20000 on a piece of equipment, yes, it's better to get it for 10000 when you're talking about little bits, you don't want to goof around with trying to fix the thing on a $50 piece of equipment, wasting two hours on a job if you have to, right? Anyway, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm saying this is what I complain about all the time because I can. But when uh, the one thing that I will give them though as well is when it comes to stuff like that, I don't know Jeff to pay full price for anything. So that's a beautiful trailer. But why wouldn't you get a demo model then? What's the difference? Besides, it's for work. We are going yeah. to beat that thing to death over oh, yeah. the next 20 years. Oh, yeah. So, but it's still in uh, spectacular condition. I got to remember not to close this whole thing the whole way. Once I do this strip, I'm going to close it down a little bit and they can close this one. Yeah. So we'll do the same thing. We'll keep one bag. Oh. Do you still have the, the sample 
key on you or no? Yeah, I do. I do. Oh, it's in, very, it's in the very. Truck. Gritter's just asking. It's in oh, the truck. Yeah, I can. I can grab. Or it's, yeah, I can grab. Oh, AC four six nine. No, I should have bet this guy a thousand dollars. No, the, of course the oh, air conditioning is not fixed. So here, here, I'll ask you guys a question. Now, I, uh, I say the words, I'll bet you, and I bet, and this and that all the time, but I never bet anything. The one time I actually bet this guy a hundred dollars, I lost because I said, "There's no way you're getting up before six a.m. It'll never happen. I've never seen it done." He got up at twenty after five that day. And I couldn't believe it. So literally, yes, I actually lost a hundred dollar bet on that. But I never, ever, ever bet. I say it all the time. So I said two weeks ago I was going to bet this guy a hundred dollars. He's not going to have the air conditioning fixed in the truck. Two weeks later, now we're two weeks later. It's still not fixed. So here's the dilemma: should I should I bet the guy a hundred dollars? Because even if I lose, it's worth a hundred dollars to have air conditioning in the truck for the rest of the summer. Minus maybe another two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> AC remembers that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. That's okay. It'll be oh, fixed and, but here's the thing. So it's one thing to say, no, the air conditioning's not fixed. Hey, it costs money or we haven't had time to take it there or whatever. <laughs> Ask me how many times we've been by the shop since then. We did at least two jobs that were right there, literally one block away. Yeah. And when the mechanic knows you're coming and you say, yeah. can I come by at exactly 2.30 and have this thing charged, you know that it's possible. Oh, I think Chris subscribed to the other channel. That's cool. Thanks, Chris. If you're uh, still there, just saw the notifications. That's awesome, buddy. Um, this is a guy I can charge. It. That's true, Beachmaster. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the trailer really helps. Uh, he gets, if he, minutes, yeah. if we have to go to Home Depot, and sit there like in the store for half an hour, 45 minutes, he'll get a call or two from somebody seeing the truck in the, um, in the, par in the uh, parking lot of Home Depot. Miami Monkey, yep. Uh, they're around, they are around. Um, they're around, yep. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, mix, mix. Coming along. Mad. Coming along, yep. The epoxy patch doesn't cover it 100%, but then the two coats, it builds it up a little bit more. So it'll get it, it'll get it like, uh, I say get, get it like 90% nice, really nice. You won't even tell the flakes, it'll, it'll look really nice. This stuff, it's, it's got to fill in the, the most important stuff, the, the, the thick, thickest part. <laughs> fun, fun. <laughs> All right, next time. To get that sample. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's right in the, uh, right in the door. Uh, the first one outward, yeah. There's what the finished product will look like. He's <clears throat> got a lot of different uh, color samples. Mixing. Oh, yeah, I should be showing, showing the mixing. Okay. You're mixing, That's the, uh, just the epoxy and the hardener, which is part A and part B. What was in the bucket. So you see how little's in the bucket when you open it. It's only a quarter full. But that's just so you can mix like this, right? Because you got to mix vigorously. And then the hardener is in that jug. Jeff's already poured it in. On the last kit, I'll try to catch that. Yeah. Not that it matters. We've done it on the Do It All Ceiling channel already a couple of times. Yeah. And there's the part C. This is just the thickening up. We're just going to use, I, I like that last mix, so we're just going to use the one bag. That was beautiful. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Go figure, right? We put sunblock on and now the yeah. sun's gone. Yeah. This is the stuff that um, we were trying to describe what it looks like, but I think, yeah, fiberglass, I forget who said it, it was, the, uh, uh, was the best way to describe what that looks like. Probably not good to completely inhale, but <laughs> there you go. Yummy. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Yeah, this took a little longer than I thought. I wonder how the battery's doing on the phone. Oh, uh, how do you check? I can. I just uh, bring it down a little bit. Oh, okay, we're twenty-five percent. You'll get a battery warning before, but I um, you'll probably think about it. Could get. I probably. Could, uh, I'll go get this stuff right now. You can hook it up when I. Yeah, I can go grab it. Please. I'll yeah. get it. I'll get it. <clears throat> okay. There you go. <laughs> new trainers. Uh, why? What's wrong? You don't like these? <laughs> these are these are awesome, brother. <laughs> Look at these. These are wicked. <laughs> it's hot here on here. Yeah, I don't. Oh, that's funny. Oh, AC. I don't. I don't. He wants some more time. But clear coat. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't. He, I haven't seen that even myself yet, where somebody's done black with uh, with uh, things. Where's the we can show this here. 70 people in the chat, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Lots of different colors. So you could do it. You could do black with uh, with plates, but I haven't seen it. I'll grab the. Uh... Oh, you're getting the bad guy. You don't have a sample, eh? Black with plates? that they use there, but I like uh, AC's idea, black with red, oh, yeah, if that's yeah. what you said. Um, Barry Gritter is asking, uh, once the job's completed, does it have a gloss finish? It's glossy, yeah. It'll be uh, it'll be shiny. Yeah. Is there such thing as matte or no? I think uh, it, it, it's more matte finish when you use, um, when you use anti-grip sand, because it kind of takes away the shine a little bit. When you put the uh, silica sand into it, that's for anti-slip. That uh, that takes away some of the shine. But uh, this floor will be fairly uh, fairly shiny. But the the flakes also hide a lot of the shine. If you're not using any flakes, this the floor will definitely be shiny. Yeah. The uh, flakes are done by hand. Yeah. I'll see in a couple of days on the last day, probably Friday. Jeff will walk and throw the, or maybe Thursday. Jeff will walk and throw the flakes. Oh yeah, it's uh, Thursday if all goes well. Yeah, Thursday will be the flakes. Uh, Friday will be the clear coat. It'll just be me. Kevin won't be here. So you guys might have to keep me company. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. You should see what uh, Jeff's shoes look, look like, the ceiling shoes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I showed you. You know, that would know, be, be a funny <laughs> Instagram picture, right? Eh? Yeah. Is, um, or even like a TikTok video. Is you wear a new pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. it's not brand new, but you yeah, know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. A new pair of shoes for ceiling at the beginning of the season. And every day after you're done sealing, you take a picture of those shoes. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. Time lapse it for 15 seconds on TikTok. Yeah. Show, everybody, <laughs> show everybody the difference. Black will look more professional. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, here we go. Let's see if we're gonna. Are we gonna make it? Will I make it? I don't know. Time will tell. We will find out. This is kit number three, boys. Kit number three. Oh, all right, here we go. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. All right. All right, where 
let's see how this goes. <laughs> how are we doing? We got a picture there? Yeah, we're good, yeah. Are you guys having as much fun as I am? <laughs> Flakes or paint chips, Barry Gritter? Yeah. Ugh. Man, okay, that would be cool as a matter of fact. He says, imagine a uh, uh, thing with a, a black floor, a dark floor, with gl um, light flakes and black lights. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Also, remember, with, uh, I, I don't have any uh, things to show. You can also use metallic colors in here. It, it looks wild. Metallic colors. and uh, You can also blend colors and just go any direction. You can make it like a, com a completely custom floor as well. says you got to look you might have dropped your sim card in the epoxy <laughs> yeah, that's that's true the sim card master i might have i am the sim card master <laughs> the master got to do another video when i go back there too yep more oh. oh, than The ideas are coming in left and right now. Beagle says you could offer family collages, put all pictures of somebody's family in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could, eh? Don't want the knee pads in it. Uh, huh? Oh, yeah, they're in wet. Uh, oh my gosh. Very gritter, yeah. You'll see. Um, we do, he literally will walk with special shoes on the yeah. epoxy while it's wet. Yeah. And then toss by hand. But he's been doing it so long that he could do it consistently. Yeah. Not that hard, really. You're just grabbing flakes out of a bucket and tossing them.
<laughs> You're right, Lewis Cobble. Ah. Hey, Lewis, what do you have on your garage? You got something like this? We should do your floor. <laughs> this sucks to get the product down there. They don't, uh... Actually, you know what? I bet you Terry has some distributors in the U.S. there. I almost guarantee you he does. Yeah, yeah he probably does. Possible. But I'm sure I should get this product down there anyway. Beagle it is, you'll see. When you have to walk with those shoes, they uh, have spikes like, um, I don't know if they're more like uh, soccer or golf. Unbelievably slippery too. Oh yeah. We've had oh, to do it um, where, you know, we when we're both do, squeegeeing a floor together or whatever. Never fallen, but so not, close. Not fallen, but God, do you ever throw your, your ankle too. You and, can break your, uh, your ankle easily on this. Oh yeah, and throw your back out and everything else. Yeah. No matter how careful you are. There's, yeah. you'll, you'll see when we, he breaks the shoes out in a couple of days. Uh, is it tomorrow or no? Shoes tomorrow. Yeah, shoes tomorrow. It's shoes to go, I think. Yeah, yeah, it is. Brian just came in. Good to see you. He's just asking hey, Brian, you, if you got the parging job. Oh, right. Uh, no, they're, um, they, I think they still have to have a board meeting on that. So we'll, we'll find out. I still got to wait and see. Uh, thanks. Thanks about that, buddy. Hey, that's good. Yeah. Who needs a reminder? You guys can keep, keep, on, keep, me on, uh, keep me on point, man. <laughs> Brian, we're trying to see if I'm going to end up having enough product for this job. I've, I've, uh, I've got four kits. This is my third one. I'm almost out. I'll be out soon, but I got one more kit. This is the worst of the floor, and then it gets better. Bobby Thrush is asking, uh, why don't you use a proper floor spat? A proper floor? He says floor spat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can get a, uh, yeah, you can get a larger one. I didn't know I was going to have to do this. I was just... Uh, it is what it is, but yeah, um, next time I probably get one of these 18 inch ones. Uh, yeah, it might be a little faster. So yeah, that would be a little faster. Do it now. <laughs> yeah. some rocks. Just make sure you get rid of those things. Put the, put the All right. Manal Kate is asking, um, what's the largest floor you've ever done? I think uh, 6,000 is six, the one that we I did, right? Six, yeah, six or 8,000 I did. I've done it, I've done it, where I, I've done it uh, with larger, I've done it with pails where you're pouring it and uh, three of us are going on the floor. That was when um, Bill was with me. Uh, I was squeegeeing and Bill was uh, back rolling. Lewis says he's got a 160 car garage, so you want <laughs> it's three levels. You want to quote that? Yeah, absolutely, brother. I can do it. <laughs> I can quote. I can, I can quote it right now. It. It's 320,000. Ah. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing by square feet, it's about 2,000 a car, right? I don't know. Yeah. I wonder. 
now, but I mean, filling in this uh, floor is no joke. Oh. Right. Am I going to have enough? I actually think I might. <laughs> Brian just said, he goes, you always leave us in suspense whether you have enough. I don't know, man. I, I <laughs> actually don't know. I'm getting a little worried. <laughs> we got a uh, quarter, less than a quarter less that left in this. I really don't know. I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not showing outside, but if I kept a camera just on the outer side of the garage so you could see the neighbors coming by to watch and see what's happening. Oh, yeah, they are, yeah. Dude, there'd be action all day. Oh, yeah. You could do a live stream just of that. But they, they come out and look like they're doing something and then just walk right back. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just comical to watch, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, okay, who's that for? Uh, a couple of guys asked earlier, I forget if Sam was one of them, they, they were talking about does the, uh, do the jobs get um, quoted hourly? No, but no. All, almost yeah, all jobs, jobs are, are Everything just. Everything I do is always it's if uh, it's never hourly. If you have your own company, it should never be hourly because then you're you're uh, now you're going to be on the clock and, and you're going to have a customer saying, "Hey, what are you doing? Get back to work, you slave!" It's always per job, always per job. Yeah, I would never do a per hour thing unless like if you're working for a friend or something like that and, and you want to rough it or something. That's okay, like. If Kevin had a job and needed me, yeah, throw, like, just, I don't care. Throw me whatever or throw me per hour or just whatever you think's fair. But, like, a customer, no, always for job. Always for job. The, um, there's a few, a few other things here. Uh, there we go. Oh. Oh, my hands are, uh. Bobby Thresh says you could just throw the primer on, probably. Oh. Um. <laughs> I didn't mean to miss anything if I did. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, bar, bar finds and power lines, not Tom, says that... Um, oh, power lines? No, yeah, yeah, says that you could do a... Um, they also have a multi-story car park that you could do. Oh. And then Ty C says, Lewis, <laughs> Lewis has no need for a three-story garage. His limo driver just picks him up. <laughs> and uh, Ben, yeah, that makes sense, actually. The... Uh, Ben says that uh, our bill, it's not Ben, uh, Killer Beagle says that the uh, holes in the concrete, Boomerang, yeah. Boomerang says it's not from the um, salt and, and stuff that I was yeah. yapping about earlier. It's just from poorly mixed concrete at the yeah, time of and, construction. And it could be that, yeah, 30 so years ago. Yeah. Thir 30 years later, this is what the product looks like. So you're probably uh, more than right about that. Yeah. Oh, 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 I get this stuff. Hi. <laughs> thank you, thank you. This is a, a generous customer. He's come up twice with drinks for us already. It's coming there, it's coming there. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah, perfect amount too. I think I'm going to make it. <laughs> the worst of the floor is there. Ah, thanks so much. <laughs> this is the hardest part. This and the prep. Rest is easy. Well, easier than that. Squeegee and then uh, rest goes easier, yeah. Oh. Oh. We're lucky because I know it's hot. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm okay. That's good for now. Thanks uh -huh. so much. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of me. That's good, yeah. It's for us. Ooh. Okay. I'll see you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Back in the chat for a quick second here. The boys. <laughs> Almost 70 people in the chat. That's awesome, guys. 
Yeah. Uh, just a quick check in, Brian. Yep. You're about to install 700 square feet of hardwood. Cheers, Brian. That's fun. That's awesome. Make sure you get your starting point right. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Henry, what's up, man? Any way to fill the pits? Yeah, that's what we're doing now, but um, with this, the first coat, it's going to fill it in a lot better. Um, Brian, that's a job I've never done. <laughs> doing a hardwood floor. <laughs> yeah, I actually look forward to that stuff. That'd be fun, yeah. Paint it into the corner. Let's paint Kevin into a, a corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, yeah. Ty Z's got my back there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. Tyler and Heron, air bubbles in the concrete. Anything's possible now from uh, 30 years ago or whatever it is. I think this neighborhood might be even older than that. Yeah. It's not old by any means, but, yeah. you know, how do you, I don't know how to tell. Ooh. All right. So let me, uh, what are we doing here? Oh, let me get some other gloves on. Oh. Ooh, man. Thanks, AC. That's, uh, yeah, uh, more often than not, you find um, a lot of customers will, will bring us either Ugh. water and stuff like that. Some guys will bring us a beer and either want to have it with us or just give it to us and stuff like that. I think I'm going to start back where you are. I'm oh, gonna start, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I'm going to start, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll start where you are. I'll try to work. No, let's quit. Yeah. <laughs> One, if you want Jeff to start over there. Yeah. Or, or two, if you want him idea. to start here. And we'll see if Jeff can box himself out of it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh. Now I'll catch the whole... Well, you're not ready for the fourth kit yet, are you? No, no. We're almost done. I just... Uh, I'll finish this kit and then... Um... Wow. It is actually thinning out a little bit more than I thought. Then I'll close this garage... And then, uh, yeah, it is, yeah. I don't know. It's a close call. It is a close call. It's a very close call. Um, but a lot of it here, I don't need. So I, I'm going to try to skip some of the areas where I don't need it, right? We'll see. All right. And here we go. I can't get into this uh, easily. Uh. Yeah, I would, I would take care of it. 
100%, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't come off though, that's the thing. <laughs> to get this off, you've got to grind, diamond grind the entire floor. It's like glue. Uh, I might have just coat the whole floor. I think I have enough. Oh, uh, are you sure? I don't know. I'm. Let's see. It, it's spreading. It's, it's spreading. spreading. That's why. It's, it's spreading on this part. I'm just. I'd rather just try to put a little coat rather than throw out epoxy. Right? It's gonna make it more easier if I can. <laughs> 